Next position opening titles is a new one. Oh wait, no it's not. That's been a thing since the beginning of time. You might as well have just sung this series of unfortunate events to the tune of Gilligan's Island. It does robot noise, laser sound, and fart noise. Also known as the TV Sins trifecta. My crotch is itchy. Come here, let me see. Crotch gazing. Gene, you're outside. Nicely offering people a free sample, all right? But why are your samples full burger sliders? I've been to enough malls and Sam's Clubs in my day to know that samples are when you cut up a regular product into bite-sized pieces and stick a toothpick into it so that when I walk by, I can accidentally grab three toothpicks instead of one. I can't keep track of who's in mourning and who isn't. Just anyone with an urn. That seems like a limited view. What about the people who chose to have their loved ones buried instead of cremated? I know you think it's the Gene Show out there, but there's a line between entertaining and annoying. Paul Stanley's comments to Gene Simmons before Kiss's first concert somehow make their way into this episode. Cash only. Listen, you're my children, and I love you, but you're all terrible at what you do. So why are they the ones doing it again? I know you said something about you and Linda having to grind the meat, but unless that actually is a euphemism, does that really need to be a two-person job? And couldn't it have been done a bit more ahead of time? What was the date? The date. Yes, the date of our wedding! Oh, crap. Is it today? Husband forgets his anniversary cliche. How do you think it good? It went very well. That's good. Boy or girl. H. John Benjamin is one of the best voice actors working today. However, even though the professions couldn't be any more different, Bob's inability to be even 1% of a decent human being is so Archer, I just keep hearing Lana every time he opens his mouth. Health Inspector, the burger joint's natural enemy. Pretty sure that's Chick-fil-A, but semantics. Also, when we saw Linda less than a minute ago, she was storming off saying they were done. So, what brought her back to the meat table so fast? Did someone actually order this? Yeah. Who? Him. Mm. He looks like a child molester. Judging a book by its comb over cover. This poor excuse for a teacher almost connected her W, drew a horrible excuse for an ampersand, and only filled in the top of the exclamation point on show and tell day. It's called the pursuit of excellence, Susan. Look it up. Human flesh? Roll burger commercials. This is one of our biggest weekends. You, you can't put that up. Nobody will eat here. My guess is even if the HDA has a sign that states a restaurant's food may contain human flesh, once in the window, customers don't really have much of a choice on whether or not they will eat at said establishment. It would be closed until the investigation is completed. Sorry, the lab's closed till Monday. Considering it's Labor Day weekend, I believe you meant the lab's closed till Tuesday. Why is green shirt sweatpants guy still here just hanging out reading this poster when 30 seconds ago he screamed in sheer terror? What does he expect to find on this sign that he hasn't already absorbed? He saw people in food, he freaked the f out, and what now? Examining the print quality? Now why would you do something like that, honey? Why? Better question. Why hasn't the sign for today's burger special been changed from the controversial child molester back to new baconings? It's almost like the show wants this restaurant to fail and I don't know what I'm rooting for. I mean, if you're gonna do clever pun shop names like this one, we're not not going to remove a sin, right? Toilet with stalls. Also, answering your cell phone in a public restroom. Or any restroom. Who's that for? Mort, he called in his order. Why in the name of Arcasia are you delivering a burger to the crematorium during a controversy about you using their bodies for meat? Gee, I wonder if that will result in another big misunderstanding that can further the hilarity of the plot. Aww, yeah. Hilarious, right? Can you imagine someone being so obsessed with hand sanitizer? What is that stuff even good for? These signs are hilarious, but there should be a question mark after the word beef, and I'm a nitpicking asshole, so... We write hurtful things on poster board. Considering this don't taste me bro picket sign made me laugh for five minutes straight, I'm pretty sure you mispronounced hilarious. People who keep snow globes readily available in their bag. What is he saying out there? What, you can't hear him? That's strange, because in a minute you'll have an entire conversation through that window without even raising your voice. You can't have it both ways, glass holes. Apparently when they broke this glass, they broke its ability to reflect as well, since Bob's eyes close and open after they do in real life. And so help me if one of you comment hounds says something about the speed of light, meaning the reflection should happen after. I will remind you, he's standing a foot away and the difference should be imperceptible to the human eye. Also, his eyes here are open for a full second while they stay closed in the reflection. So show clearly doesn't know how to reflection properly. And I'm adding another four sins for the hand cramps from pausing and rewinding. Well, we might have some more human meat, but it's, uh... $50 a burger? Soylent gouging. This turned into a great weekend. Bob wearing his apron on the Ferris wheel during family time is horrible. Have you ever worked in a kitchen? You take the smell home with you. It lives inside of you. And even one of those natural loofahs that removes six skin layers can't help the stench. Why would you wear your meaty, greasy apron outside of the restaurant? I'm getting scarred for life up here! Well, that's the end of the show. And while we all laugh at their misfortunes, I'm left wondering why the hell Tina's crotch itched until the bacon grease somehow helped. Get that kid to a Doctor.
silent breed is people! For some reason, you all want to wear the CinemaSense Pitchfork M on your body. So we slapped that f***er on some new merch and threw it in the store. Posters, hoodies, tanks, socks. Click on the merch below the YouTube player or click the store link at cinemasins.com. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? You're smiling with your eyes! Eyes, keep the eyes smizing. Lips are Novocaine. How many toothpicks on the ground? A2, A2, A2. I'd hate to get any saliva on you and Mr. Perfect Moisture Mouth. Yes, all of it, you fox-eared asshole. Good luck with the angry mob, Bob. The only significant difference between those other guys and me, Bob, is that I'm going to kill you. We know you people, and you know us. You're thinking of this place all wrong, as if I had the money back in a safe. I, the, the money's not here. Well, your money's in Joe's house. That's right next to yours. And in the Kennedy house, and Mrs. Maitland's house. And the